Hey, welcome to another Bump by video and we're going to continue today with uh, our buying from Auctions Yahoo and today I'm going to explain the Charge 2 shipping instructions and the actual shipping. During the weekend I already received a notification that I need to fill in the Charge 2 payment. And a Charge 2 payment is basically paying the domestic shipping fee and the international shipping fee. And both of the items have been received at the warehouse so they need to be shipped. And they have a deadline of 3 days to do this. So that's something you need to keep in mind otherwise they will ask you uh, to give you extra money. That being said, um, filling in the charge to payment is nothing more than, okay, this is what it costs, the domestic shipping, and then what do you actually uh, fill in for the customs? So on the shipping invoice, I filled in it's a 100 yen worth, and the other one is also 100 yen worth, because it's not worth uh, anything at all, and it, especially after shipping for the country that you're in, it's worth nothing. Um, also, um, it's going to give some details about uh, the shipping weight, what type of um, uh, shipping method you would like to use. They filled in like, okay, it costs this, costs X, Y, Z. Um, and you have all sorts of options. So you can either ship it as a small package, uh, air mail, service mail. Um, so there are various options and especially air mail and small package are the ones that you can actually track and tracking costs extra money. So the tracking service, um, well, they, they give you an estimate on when it arrives, uh, two to three months to arrive in Europe, and that's just service mail, and that's really, really slow. Uh, while airmail, obviously, uh, it will be within a few days, and that's like four days, five days. Um, I'm not going to pay the, the registered mail, so I don't want any tracking at all. And um, Well, if I would take the tracking, I would be able to see what, uh, where it is. Uh, but that isn't true in all cases. Uh, then I can check the box to ship it as a gift. And shipping as a gift would give the customs, if they oblige to that, the indication that it's a gift, it's not going to be taxed. And I once had a package that was taxed because, well, the shipping company didn't pay uh, attention and they put in like, these are brochures and it cost X, what is that? And then I had to pay like 10 euros taxes. And on uh, an amount like this, that's, that's a lot. Um, actually, the charge too is uh, over budget, so I cannot... Uh, pay what I currently said that I would like to have as a shipping option. Uh, what options do I have? Well, I can I can change it to small package, and if I do small package, I can do that including or excluding tracking. Mm. Is it worth me to have tracking, or am I going really really budget wise? Um, I'm going for small package and that also means that it will be here hopefully within a few weeks and not a few months uh, and at least it doesn't cost me that much. Uh, if it gets lost, mm, yeah, meh. well so be it. I want to stay in budget and I don't want to go over that. So now you can see that um, I filled in everything, what are the details, how much taxes uh, or the, the, the customs can tax me for. Um, and that's it. I've paid my charge too and shipping uh, has been done. Uh, shipping instructions have been given now and I get a confirmation that they shipped it uh, a day later. And then on the 1st of November I received this where, um, where they completely revamped our service. So, Everything I have shown you so far is uh, not 100% correct anymore because the commission fee and the system usage fee is different. I haven't figured out what the difference is yet because I have to do another uh, transaction via them. Uh, but once I have figured that out, I'll make another video on what the different service is. So now let's wait for the third video uh, once it has arrived and I'll unbox it. And maybe by then I have more information about their new revamped service. That's it. Thank you for watching and take care.